morning guys we're gonna go up and I want to show you my little church at the end of this little country lane you can kind of already see it there the back of it but yes I, do, I really am serious when I say I live in rural Ohio <laughs> it is a beautiful morning the Sun is shining bright perfect time to do this feeling good I always get excited coming up this road and knowing that I'm getting to go to church and see everybody and um, here is the cemetery that's beside the church there are a lot of old old graves and if it wasn't 26 degrees this morning, I might get out and show you a few cool ones. <laughs> but it's very cold. I will tell you what, like, I'll show you where I park. Right there beside that telephone pole. Just pull right in. <laughs> and um, let me back up. And I'll show you turn this that red tree that you can see in the distance is on our farm so we're very close to our farm the stuff that you're seeing right here next to the church is actually our neighbor's farm so it kind of cuts in between a little bit so but let's show you the church We have a little building where we keep our lawnmower and stuff. And then here is the side. Um, that little door right there uh, with the cement uh, steps goes into two small Sunday school rooms. And when I say small, I mean small. <laughs> uh, I've taught vacation Bible school in there before. We actually had a little snake come and weasel its way inside that door. Um, yeah, not fun. I, I don't like a snake. All right, I'm gonna turn you a little bit more. So, actually I'm gonna take you out of this so I can show you and guide them. Let me get out. It is cold, but I'll get out for you guys. I love stained glass, so I wanted to show you the stained glass window, if we can see it here. Um, it's very old. It actually, I believe, looks like it has like an older glass, and the stained glass is actually on the inside. Um, my seat is on the other side with the stained glass, very similar design, and um, it's very, very old. And here's the little front door to go in and when we have vacation Bible school all the I love it because we play games here in the side yard and all the little kids line up around this um, concrete area and they eat their little snacks and stuff it's so cute so but this is the view all around isn't it beautiful look at this smoke coming out of her house it smells so good it's a very cold morning the Sun peeking through the tree and the cemetery. And my tell you ride with the door open getting cold air in. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you in a few. Okay, guys, I'm going to talk to you a little bit on the way home from the church. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about my birthday. I wanted to share so much. I had plans to do a tell you ride and to share different things. Um, but Saturday when we went to celebrate my birthday at the hibachi restaurant, um, <laughs> I ended up having a, if it's my gallbladder, a gallbladder attack. Like full on as much pain as when I went into the um, hospital to the ER that night. And I thought I wasn't gonna tell anybody because it happened on the way there. 
when I gotta go to stop at a Dollar Tree and when I, I felt a little tug and stuff, look at this sun, how gorgeous. <laughs> but I felt a little tug and I thought, oh no, is that pain? At the time I got to the restaurant, I was miserable. And I thought, I'm not gonna tell anybody. Well, I couldn't manage that. And so I did have to tell them and I ended up eating a piece of lettuce and having to run to the bathroom because any smell, taste, anything makes me deathly sick. And so I think I did um, uh, manage, I took, a, took an 800 milligram ibuprofen um, that uh, my daughter's boyfriend's mom had and that took the edge off of it. So we were able to shop a little after. I was still in a lot of pain, but I would rather shop and be in pain than go home and sit on the couch and wallow in the pain. So I figured it would help me, you know, get over it a little easier. So it did go away um, by the next morning. <laughs> I was able to sleep though. So, but um, you know, that kind of stunk. I was really excited about going and eating and um, you know, I had 10 people with me that wanted to help me celebrate and I don't know. But anyway, so I did needless to say, I didn't, I didn't film at the restaurant or any, anything, or, I, you know, I was kind of consumed with that. And then on my actual birthday, which was yesterday, I had to go and run in town and do an oil change. And, um, I did some shopping and my mother-in-law went with me. We had a really good day. Um, except, you know, I don't know if y'all ever have this experience. But occasionally, you know, husbands are grumpy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my husband called me and was very grumpy. And it just kind of took, you know, the fun out of the day. He actually called twice. So it really sucked it out. <laughs> Not the best birthday, but it's still going to be a good year. Um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to being 47 for, you know, the second year. <laughs> you know. All right, guys, I'm going to go and draw the winner for the giveaway. And, um, so make sure that you all are visiting our sponsor, dpwithsparklers.com and using that code, um, honoring God DP to save you 10%. Um, that's good through November 30th. And, um, you know, make sure you're posting your pictures, uh, hashtag honoring God DP on Instagram. And then, um, you know, I, I'm really enjoying those. I'm trying to share some of the finishes in my story on there. And, um, I'm just, I'm really glad you're enjoying the event. I'm enjoying the event and, um, you know, it's hard to believe we have one more week left. So, uh, let's go pick the winner. Toby and Poppy are in charge of picking. There are is a little steak-shaped treat on each person's name. There's the names. I don't know if you can see them. I'm having to hold these two back. All right, each of them are going to pick a winner. So whoever's little steak they choose will get a prize. So there'll be two winners this week, US only because of the mail. Next week's winner will be the winner of the DP with Sparklers. No, Poppy, here, here. The DP with Sparklers.com $25 gift card, which is open to everyone. And what you need to do is in the comments below this video, below this video, please tell me what your favorite song, church song, it can be a hymn, contemporary Christian, and who you like to hear sing it, because I would like to create a playlist uh, of all of our favorite, uh, of our favorites uh, from here on YouTube. So if you could put the song title and who it is by, I will find them and create a playlist for us. And, and just another way we can come together as a diamond painting community. So, all right, I'm gonna release them. Are you ready? All right, guys, go choose your steak. Go on, Poppy. Let's go, you can have one. 
Go choose it. Which one you want? Poppy has chose Valerie Hollerfield. Toby, choose yours. Get you one. You can have it. Go get it. He's a little confused because of all the nose. Get you one. Choose you one. Wherever you want. Look. Go ahead. Let me step across them. All right. Pick you one. All right. Toby has chose Shine Bright Creations. All right. Will you side by side? You guys, message me on Instagram at One Fun Diamond Painter, or my email will be down in the description below. Congratulations!